hi guys welcome back to my channel if you did read the title of today's video you would see that it is a get to know me 40 question tag and i did get nominated by a fellow youtuber on here her name is doris king Irebu. um you should check out her channel it's fun it's entertaining it's interactive and it's very family oriented um so doris if you're watching this thank you for picking me um i'm gonna go right into the 40 questions but first i'm gonna show you guys how i was able to decorate this um, I know there's not a lot of balls on there or ornaments if they're called that, uh, but I wasn't sure being my first time, I wasn't sure what I was supposed to use. So please go easy on me. Um, and also make sure to watch till the end of this video because I have some really fun facts. Anyways, let's get started.
question. So the first question on here is, do you like blue cheese? Um, I wouldn't say I do, because I don't. Um, that's just the truth. Um, I kind of feel like, I don't know, I don't like the smell, basically. Um, I would eat any other cheese. I do love the um, creamy Havati. I do love the old cheddar as well. Um, I would try the provolone and the mozzarella, but I'm kind of not a fan of either or. Um, but I do like the old cheddar, especially, and uh, the creamy Havati. So I would do that. But for the blue cheese, the truth is, like I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to, <laughs> I wouldn't be able to eat that. So yeah, no, I don't like blue cheese. Um, second question is Coke or Pepsi? Um, if I were to choose between both, not that I like either or all, cause I'll try to avoid um, stuff like that, but I would probably go with Coke just cause I like the way it feels down, you know, my trolls and yeah, I would definitely go with Coke. Um, third question is, are you in a relationship? Um, I would like to pass this, but since we're asking, I would just go ahead and say no. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not, but yeah, that's basically it. Fourth question, whiskey, tequila, or vodka? Um, i definitely go with tequila any day, any time, just because... I don't know it just it gets you right there you know yeah i definitely go with tequila i'm not a fan of vodka i just don't like the way i feel like after i drink it so no vodka <laughs> just tequila um fifth question is hot dog or cheeseburger the truth is none <laughs> um i don't eat those kind of stuff i really honestly try to avoid it so i don't like either also yeah um favorite food anyone who knows me knows how much i love noodles so <laughs> not that it's my favorite food but i think i eat that a lot um so i'd probably say noodles and african jollof rice nigerian jollof rice it's just everything you know the taste the way it looks how red it is how like you know, yum, a taste in the mouth. Everything about like Nigerian jello fries is just, it's just, it gets you there, you know? Uh, so that's basically my um, favorite food. Uh, chicken, plantains, salad, and jello fries. Question number seven is, what do you drink in the morning? Uh, so the first thing I drink in the morning is usually coffee. Um, and I do like my coffee really dark, no milk, no cream, no sugar, just black coffee, pretty much. Um, question number eight is, can you do a hundred push-ups? <laughs> okay, um, I can't, not that I have tried before. I haven't, I might be able to, I don't know. Uh, but I haven't done that, so yeah, I'd say uh, I I can't, or I wouldn't know if I could because I've never tried it. Um, but yeah, I do planks, you know, every morning, um, and I do up to seventy. So I feel like I would be able to do a hundred push-ups, but you know, it's kind of hard. Like it is really hard so yeah i'd say no <laughs> um question number nine is favorite season of the year so my favorite season of the year everyone knows that would be the fall which is right now even though it's like super cold um I don't know i just like the way my skin feels like you know um usually uh during the fall um and it's just better to like have a little bit of um cold than like the hot heat where you can't even really breathe so i definitely say the fall 
um, just because I can also dress up and wear different coats and boots if I wanted to. So yeah, um, the fall is definitely my best season um, in the year. Um, question number 10 is, what is your hobby? My hobby, everyone knows, is acting. If you really know me and you like are close to me to know um, what my passion is, um, is acting. I love to imitate human action, basically. Um, so I'm basically an entertainer. Like there's just so many things you guys don't know about me. Um, I could sing if I wanted to. Um, I am basically one with a lot of talents. <laughs> Yeah, i so passionate about acting and I have done that since I was in high school. Um, stage dramas, I did a lot of stage dramas uh, growing up, like in high school. And I proceeded to the university where I did a lot of like actual stage dramas as well. Um, I, I feel like that's just the only thing that makes me really happy you know um and it kills me that i'm not doing that right now but uh yeah i'm just keeping the dream real and that's totally one of my hobbies other things would probably be um i do like to cook um i like to shop um i like to travel as well but i'd rather travel and not be on a flight then have to do that but obviously you have to get onto a flight to be able to get to your destination but take out the flight and i love traveling um i just don't like it i like i just don't like being on air i don't know why but i literally freak out every time i have to travel um yeah so those are kind of like my hobby i do like to cook as well um, I'm sure that's not one thing, or oh, that's the one thing people don't know about me, but I do love to cook. I don't like the stress in making, like in washing the dishes and doing all of that prep before cooking the food, but I actually do enjoy cooking because my food tastes great. Anyways, question number, question number um 11 would be any tattoos um truth is i don't have any tattoos um i would love to have one i just feel like i'm gonna ruin my skin <laughs> um and then i'm scared of needles as well so i would yeah it's not something i want to do um like right now maybe in the future i don't know but yeah um i love to see it on other people like i literally admire it like i would see someone wearing a tattoo or have a tattoo on and i'd be like oh my god it's so pretty you know but like having one done on me is just uh, it makes me really cringy i don't know i just cannot yeah i can't imagine it though um, anyways, question number 12 is, do you wear glasses? Yes, I do. I wear glasses to drive, uh, just cause I'm a blind, 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 blind girl. <laughs> um, I do wear glasses. I've had to wear glasses since I was, um, I think 12. Yeah, I was in high school when I started wearing glasses, but they would make fun of me a lot, so... I kind of just stopped. Um, I do have contacts as well, which are like medicated. Um, I wear that once in a while, or it's usually really stressful having to do that, like, you know, before you drive and also I'd rather just wear glasses. Um, but yes, I do wear glasses because my sides are so bad. Um, question number 13 is phobias. Um, do you have any phobia, Vivian? um i guess i do i hate sleeping with the lights off even though i know there's like there's literally nothing in the room <laughs> it just really scares me to sleep with the light off i don't know i just i'm so used to it like i get obnoxious like when i i feel like the lights are off I feel like something's gonna come like move me out of my bed so 
yeah it's really weird like as an adult saying this is so funny and weird but i just don't like to sleep with the lights off so i think i that's if that could be called a phobia yeah that would be my phobia um question number 14 is what is your nickname um so my nickname is viva la vida and i'm gonna tell you guys like how that name came about um but if you notice that's also the name of this channel um that's also the name of my business page and also the name of my website as well um but how the name came about was um was in the university um there used to be this guy his name is kef child um he would always call me like vida loca you know and he'd be like vida lo <laughs> vida loca and i'm like okay kind of like you know it just went into my head and my name is vivian and vida loca well instead of vida loca why don't you just put like a la vida like i i feel like i came up with the rest but he actually initiated the name and i kind of went with it because i liked it so yes viva la vida not like it means anything but and number 15 is favorite candy would be the christmas candy <laughs> the one that has like the red and white that has like the whole umbrella thing like it looks like an umbrella like the um the handle of a hun umbrella like it's just carved underneath like i don't know u shape um i love that candy i could have like 10 in one sitting that's how bad it is <laughs> i i don't know where that came from like it's just something i just said doing but i love it i don't know what they're called but i literally love those candy like so much um so if you don't know what to get me for christmas get me that candy and i love you um question number 16 is do you believe in ghosts no <laughs> those like those things don't even exist i don't know i'm not gonna say they don't because yeah um it, but i don't know honestly i don't believe in it because i've never seen one i've never like witnessed anyone like who has like i've never witnessed it and no one that i know has witnessed anything like that so like it's just hard to believe that things like that exist so i don't believe in ghosts no um what is your biggest downfall? <laughs> hmm. I don't know, man. Like, that's a tough question. I, I don't know. Well, I would say immigrating to Canada, first of all. Um, not that I, I wouldn't say it's a downfall i just i don't know i just feel like for me and at the point that i was um back home and trying to reach my goals and dreams i feel like um moving to canada didn't didn't help any of that at all like kind of like pushed me backwards um in terms of like my dreams or goals um but yeah like career wise uh i feel like that that is my <laughs> that is my biggest downfall moving here and not being able to do exactly what i love um was my biggest downfall but that could be worked on um that could be that could change in the future i don't know um, only God does. So, yeah. Um, question number 18. Rain or snow? Who wants the snow? Not me. 
um, some other people do, but I don't. Um, I just feel like it leaves everything really messy and like, you know, I don't know, during the snow, it's just so hard to get the snow off your car. You know, everywhere is like filthy. You know, you have to wear like snow boots or it's just, yeah, it's just too much. I'd rather it rain, it dries up, we move on with our lives and yeah, everyone's happy. So definitely rain for me, um, definitely. So question number 19, any piercings? Um, yes, I do have piercings on my ears. Um, so I do have four on one ear and I have three on the other. Um, I'm kind of tired of it now because when I was in the university, I would always have like three earrings on and have, you know, the one on here just because, you know, then it was something I, that I liked and something that was kind of in vogue and everyone was, every was trending, everyone was doing it. So um, not that, I don't know, it was just trending. Everyone was doing it, not because everyone was doing it. That was why I did it. I did it because I liked it at the time. So yeah, I do have three on one ear, one uh, four on the other, and that's basically it. No piercings in the body and not thinking of doing that at, at all. <laughs> um, question number 20 is, what is your age? Mm. I would just say, I mean, my early 30s. Uh, that's all you guys have to know uh, is early 30s. Um, so I'm still pretty young. Uh, most people usually say, <laughs> most people would say I look, I look 21, 20, 22, uh, which is weird because I don't act that way. But, um, yeah a lot of people think i'm like way younger like when i say i'm like 30 you know they're like you what you know but yeah i'm in my 30s early 30s so um question number i feel like i'm jumping questions now uh, question number 21 is French fries or onion rings? So for me, I love on, um, French fries. Never had onion rings, I'm not gonna lie. So I wouldn't know if I'd like that more, but for now I just say French fries because French fries is, that's it. <laughs> that's, that's it, like, you know? Um, I don't know about onion rings because I haven't tried it. So yeah. Um, 22, question 22 is how many kids? Um, so I don't have kids. I hope to in the future and I want three kids if I eventually do have kids. So yes, three kids and I'm good and I'm happy. At least like two boys and one girl that I can really spoil because yeah yeah um yeah no kids at all uh question number 23 is favorite color um i i don't have a favorite color but if you open my closet you would see a lot of black <laughs> which i don't understand why it's like i have black of everything like it's so weird um I would go into a store and instead of picking a, a black pants or a black top, um, no, a different colored top, I would go for black. And I already have that. Like, why go for the same color? I, it's just weird. I, I do have a lot of black, though black is not my best uh, or my favorite color, but it's just a lot in my closet. Like, I have a lot of black stuff, a lot of black shoes, black pants, black top, black everything black 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 um but yes i don't have a favorite color but i do have a lot of black um question number 24 is can you sing yes i can 
I can sing. I, I genuinely do know how to sing though. No jokes. I do know how to sing. Um, the occasion hasn't called for it right now. If not, I would have sang. But I do know how to sing and I do sing really well. If question number 25 is, can you whistle? I think I can. I'm going to show you guys. Not that I can do it for long, but I can. But I can't do it for long. Um, I'm going to try right now. <laughs> okay that was that was good enough so you guys see i can whistle not that i can hold it for long but i can um question number 26 is where were you born um so i was born in lagos nigeria um and i grew up there like just even saying this brings back a lot of memories um so doris who picked me to do this um she, we all used to live on the same street um and our parents were really close um so yeah like i was born in nigeria and i was raised there um well yeah it's so funny how like life just moves like this but yes i was born in nigeria and i was born in lagos lagos state nigeria um Question number question number 27 is any siblings? Yes, I do have siblings. I have four siblings. Um, my parents gave that to five children. I am the fourth child of a family of five. Um, I do have an elder sister, two elder sisters, one elder brother, me and my younger brother. So we're five. Um, I love them with every single bit of me and we're pretty close, I would say. Um, we talk basically almost every time um, and yeah, we're like inseparable, you know? And if you're watching this, all of you, I love you guys, like you already know how much. So yeah, we're really close and we are pretty much inseparable um yeah so question number 28 is can you cook i already said that before like for real like have you tasted my food i can cook like i can whoever has tasted my food can testify to that and i i'm good in the kitchen like i know what i'm doing basically and the food comes out it tastes really good it's it's feels yummy in the mouth like when you eat it you just ask for more you know because i'm that good <laughs> i'll be here hyping myself <laughs> anyways um question number 29 we're getting there we're almost there uh question number 29 is can you swim no i cannot and i'm gonna tell you guys a little story so back in Lagos before I moved down here. I used to go out a lot with my friends because I worked for a company a telecom company called Airtel and we used to have like a lot of events and you know all of that and That was basically where I met like my friends friends, you know, and We would always go out for events and stuff like that and we did go to a beach house I think it's called Ilas Ilas Ilasse Beach or something like that and uh, while at the beach we're all just chilling I was at the poolside um, some dude comes from behind and pushes me in the water I just like that you know and I had <laughs> I had no idea that he was gonna do that and I fall right into the water like gasping for air I was literally at the verge of dying I, like I was almost dead I drank the entire water in the pool because I was so scared I was drowning and like no one could hear me I kept trying you know to get to the top you know but then because I couldn't swim it was just it was just worse like he kept like I kept drowning like I kept going in I was trying to you know gaps with air but nothing was happening and then my friend jumped in to try to save me and it was kind of bad because 
the fact that I was really desperate to get out of the water, I kept dragging her in and she too lost control over like, you know, herself or her stamina, I don't know. And some other person was the one who came and saved the both of us. But at that point, um, I literally would have killed myself and killed her as well because I was just drowning. Like I was so scared and I didn't know what I was doing. But yeah, I don't know how to swim. Um, I haven't tried to take swimming classes. I should, but I have no time for it. But yeah, I don't. And I'm so scared of the water. Like, so scared of the water. So no, I don't know how to swim. Um, 30s, are you religious? Yes, I am. I wouldn't say like, I'm, I don't know how people say, but they say like, oh, you're born again. Like, I wouldn't say that. Like, because I don't even understand the, like, the meaning of the word, like, born again. But I would say I'm religious. I believe in God. Um, I'm baptized in the Catholic Church. Um, I'm a full, you know, grown Catholic. Um, I would not want to go to any other church if it wasn't Catholic. Um, but yeah, um, I'm... I would think that I'm, I would say I'm religious. I do believe in God and I believe in his words and his teachings and all of that. And I try to abide by it. I try. I'm human, but I try all the time. Um, question number 31 is shower or bath? So I would say bath, though I don't, <laughs> though I don't have a bath. <laughs> I would say bath just because it, it feels very relaxing when you do that like um i wish i did and some days when i have like long hours at work or i'm pretty tired and exhausted i could just like soak myself in there but the fact that i don't have one is like uh, but yeah um no bath no no shower just bath um 32 is city or nature um, I, I am a very city girl. I was born in a city. Um, I do not like nature at all. Um, I do not like to hike. I do not like to um, take long walks. You know, all of those stuff is just not me. I would not go camping, you know, because things like that are not just my thing. Um, I do like the city. I like, you know, um, I don't know. I just like to see cars and like nice buildings, high rise, sky rise, you know, whatever that is. <laughs> um, I do like the city and yeah, I just, I would not do nature at all. Um, I could compromise if it was a situation where I had to do that, but um, if I had to pick, it would be city. It would be the city, definitely. Um, question number 33 is, are you a good friend? Um, I would say that I am. Um, I am one person who goes, I think, above and beyond for my friends. And I never do forget friendship, though. Um, I'm, if I say you're my friend, it's just, it's hard for me to forget you. Like, it doesn't matter where I am or, you know, what I'm doing or like, it's just so hard for me to forget um, you or like, you know, not be in touch. And sometimes when I'm not in touch, it doesn't mean that I have forgotten. It just means that I'm um, probably at a place where I'm like basically like exhausted with like a lot or overwhelmed with like a lot of stuff. And um, I still do reach out at some point. You know but it all depends if you give me the right energy i would definitely give you the right energy as well and i'm someone who's really sensitive so like um most of my friends know and you're particular about like certain stuff because what i don't like to do to be done to me i don't like to do it to others yeah i would think that i'm a good friend i don't know what anyone would have to say about that but my friends <laughs> would say that I'm a good friend, yeah. Question number, oh, 34. Any broken bones? 
um, growing up, my mom told me I had a broken leg. <laughs> so sometimes when I take pictures, I, I can't stand really straight. Like I'm always like bent to one side, but that's like more of like a fashion stand to me right now because I don't know, like she said that to me and I'm like, oh, okay. I never knew I had like, I broke my leg when I was a child, like I had no clue, but yes, I do have, um, I did break my leg growing up, but that was fixed. But yeah, um, question number 35 is how many TVs do you own? Um, so I used to own two TVs. One was like in my bedroom, but I sold it because like my bedrooms are really tight and there's no space to like hang whatever on the wall like because my the way my bed is set up is like set up like straight like facing out so i can't hang that on the door so i'd rather just have the one big tv in my living room and yeah i'm pretty good i hardly watch tv too so you know it'd be a waste if it was just sitting in there um yeah so question number 36 is worst pain ever So the worst pain I have felt ever would be when I had surgery and I'm not sure the doctor knew what he was doing and it was so painful because I didn't get sedated. Um, so like I was pretty much awake while everything was going on and that, that I feel like that made it even worse. But yeah, yeah, that was like the worst pain ever. <laughs> I don't know about childbed now because I've not been through that, but I hear that that is, you know, another pain that, you know, is just not something I'm looking forward to because of the way people talk about it. But yeah, um, just the one surgery was the, you know, intense pain that I've ever kind of felt. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Um, 37 question number 37 is do you like uh, to dance yeah. okay um do you like to dance yes i do i feel like um i work pretty much a lot <laughs> so anytime i get i just try to you know dance i listen to a lot of music and it's usually really loud uh, most of the time but yeah, I like to dance at my, you know, free time or whenever I'm not doing anything, I just turn on like the, um, the TV or like um, uh, my speaker and I just like dance to whatever song that comes out. But yeah, I do like to dance or I could go out as well. Um, I like to go out um, and dance. Um, most of the time, because of Corona, obviously we can't do that. So I just stay home, listen to music and dance. Well, I do have a few steps. I used to be a break dancer back in high school and a stepper as well. But I think growing up, like along the line, everything left me. I don't know how, but it just disappeared. Um, but yeah, I do love to dance. Uh, question number 38 is, do you like camping? <laughs> it's funny how I just mentioned it a few questions back. No, I don't. I do not like to camp. Um, not that I will not go if like a group of people were going, but like it's not just my favorite thing to do. So yeah. Um, question number 39, we're almost there. We're there is, are you weird? No, I'm not. <laughs> no i'm not no i would not say i'm weird no and no one has said that to me so no i'm not i'm not weird um yeah and question number 40 would be um which six persons are you tagging to take part in this the truth is I, I, i'm new on youtube i don't really know six persons i only know like maybe two people <laughs> uh or three dear about so i won't be tagging anyone just because it's not up to six but i hope you enjoyed all my honesty even though you weren't like chit-chatting with me but i feel like we were 
you know, we're doing this together. Um, anyway, um, this is the end of it. Um, uh, thank you, Doris, for picking me to do this again. And please do check out her channel. Um, I'm going to be coming up with um, a date night haul. I'm not going to say from what brand, but you guys should definitely keep your eyes peeled because it's going to be coming out. Um, probably, um, I wouldn't say next week, but pretty much very soon. So um, yeah, keep your eyes peeled for that and just expect to see that. Uh, before then, I probably would have other videos coming up. Um, someone requested for a meal plan. Uh, not sure if it's under my niche, but I'd kind of see if I can roll that in. If I can't, I'll probably just put it on my Instagram story. So make sure you follow me on there as well. It's Viva La Vida, Viva La Vida Mati. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed all of my honest question and answer. Um, and you guys got to know me a little bit more. Um, I would see you guys in my next video. So take care and it's not Christmas yet. I would have said happy or Merry Christmas, but take care and I'll see you in my next video. Love and peace. I love you guys. Bye.